Imagine taking photos like sitting there, that'd be so fun. So we've just come to collect Anna's donuts and she gave this big box. The thing is, I'm sat down in Prada waiting for my bag. <laughs> Welcome back to my vlog channel. So, you joined us this morning in Piccadilly Circus. We are on our way to the management office to have a meeting, but me and Haz are running late as always, and we have absolutely no urgency because we're starving. So we're gonna go get breakfast. Our meeting started like 10 minutes ago. But we're gonna go to the eat downstairs outside the office. We're gonna go outside the office to the eat and grab a coffee and a panini. A panini. Uh, and then we're gonna go up to the meeting. Anna's already in there, and then we've got fun-filled, exciting day. I need to do some Christmas shopping after I finished here. Also, this coat is the coat from Primark that I got the other day. Really fun, really fresh. That I got. That I has got actually. <laughs> Whew, I'm so out of breath because we are, we have urgency, but urgency is to get food and then go upstairs, you know? Do we go to that bakery or do you want to go to. No, I, like, yeah. I want a ham and cheese toast. Alright, love, we'll do that then. Right, the breakfast has been secured. Now, time for a meeting. You ready? Let's go. Oh, there's builders. <laughs> So the meeting is now finished. It went really well actually. The last clip you just saw was after the meeting. I realized I didn't actually like film anything in there. So we just put my camera up and just sat on our phones for like five minutes just to get the shot. We are now walking through Soho. We're gonna go to a little comic book store basically. I saw something that I really wanna get my dad for Christmas. Well, I didn't see something. I saw a store that I wanna go in and try and find something for my dad for Christmas in there. What, in so the we're adults? gonna go. Yeah, in the adult store, yeah. That's where me and Anna are going, a couple's day out. Hazard's gone back home because she's got stuff to do. And I I just nipped into Fleurice, picked up this beanie. I've been wanting a nice white beanie for the longest time. And the fit of them, everyone I've tried on before, just wasn't wasn't working for me. Um, we can go up there, actually. But I finally found one. Having a little bit of Christmas shopping, and then Anna's gonna get us some donuts, apparently. Look how cool that is in there. Imagine taking photos like stood in there. That'd be so fun. I wonder if you can go in. It'd be cool with like an actual camera so that I don't blur. Anyway, now we're gonna go to a few shops, have a little shop around, and then end our time in Soho with donut. And then we've gotta head back because we've got an event tonight with which is everyone's coming, aren't they? Like Kira, Kayla, Flossie, Eve, Has, me, Josh, Freya, Anna. I don't know who else is coming. There's a lot of us anyway. Then we're all staying at ours afterwards, which is gonna be fun. This is the comic book store that I want to go in. It is so cool. Me and Ella go in it all the time whenever she's in London, and it's the best thing. So we've just come to collect Anna's donuts, and she gave this big box, like an actual huge I was box. Expecting maybe like a tray of like three or four, not this, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got to go find food somewhere with this big box. That's so cute. We've got a lot of people to feed tonight. So <laughs> Oh yeah, true. Yeah. I've managed to find something for my dad in the little shop. I don't know if he's gonna like it or not, but we'll just wait and see. Anyway, we're now on Oxford Street and we're gonna go to Selfridges. I don't know if this is a good idea. Basically, there's a Prada bag in Selfridges that's like exclusively in store uh, and you can't get it online. And I've seen people selling it on Depop and I'm like, oh, I just really want it. I'm probably not gonna buy it. However, I am with Anna. So like, this is where I end up spending money because she's a bad influence. So we'll see, but we're gonna go in there and then we need to rush back and go to Bongo's Bingo. Has is gonna be over the moon with us going shopping instead of being at home when we've got so much to do. If we walk in with any sort of selfridges bag, she's gonna be like, hmm, really? Because we should uh, be at home right now. Right, we're in Selfridges, just been inside the Prada bag. But how cool is this? I actually am obsessed with bags and anything like that. Like, even that one's so, so cool. But now we're gonna go to Balenciaga and try and see if they've got the bag that Anna wants. <sighs> Hopefully they don't. The thing is, <laughs> I'm sat down in Prada waiting for my bag to get behind the tiller and be able for me to buy it. That's fun. I really didn't plan on this. Basically, I've seen this bag everywhere. I'll show you the bag when I get it, like, actually home. And you'll see that absolutely everyone's got this bag. I've loved it for such a long time. The last time I came in, it was sold out. They got restocked yesterday and the men's one came out a week ago, like the men's version of the bag. Um, yes, that's Crazy. Um, So I'm not getting the bag today. <laughs> the guy literally just came over as I were mid-filming. Also, I've been really discreet filming because you're not really meant to film in here. 
car and we're on the escalators but the guy came over and said that the only one they had in stock was the mannequin one and they're not allowed to sell it so the one that I tried on they're not allowed to sell so he's got my number and he's gonna give me a call tomorrow because apparently they're getting a new delivery of them tomorrow and he said he's got a waiting list so I'm on the waiting list fabulous which makes me want the bag even more because I know everyone's trying to get it I want it even more so hopefully he likes me and I can get it but also my bank account right now <laughs> not agreeing <laughs> we're out of Selfridge just now I don't know if that were a good shopping trip or not like we've both walked out with nothing they didn't have the bag that Anna wanted they had the bag that I wanted but like only the display one the fact that if I buy a new bag it gives me the motivation to actually sell my old ones um, because like, I want to get rid of like a couple of my Balenciaga bags and stuff like that because I don't wear them enough and I feel like someone could get so much more use out of them than me So we've just been informed that we're actually going on a night out tonight, which I didn't actually plan for, basically. We're going to Bongo's Bingo. We went, uh, when did we go to Bongo's Bingo? Oh, like, a couple of months ago. But when did we yeah. go? I think we went like two months ago, maybe, maybe more than that. And basically, it's like in a club or in like a pub space with like a stage. And they do like a cool DJ thing. And then the DJ, like, you can win prizes. I don't really know how to explain it. You'll obviously see tonight as we like do it. However, the building afterwards turns into like an actual club. And last time we didn't stay for that, we just left. But apparently we're staying for that, so we've just had to try and find Anna an outfit. And now we've got to rush back home, because Freya said we need to leave by 10 past 5. And it's like half past 4 right now, so we need to go back home, get fully ready to go on like an actual night, and then head back out. Also, my camera just doesn't focus anymore, so we're just going to have to deal with that. Right, so I've literally just got back home and got an email from Deliveroo saying your food is now in the oven and on the way to an address that's not mine. So I clicked track order and it logged me into my Deliveroo account, and someone's hacked my delivery account and ordered food to their house so I just cancelled the food because obviously it's charging my card and I'm now on a chat with Deliveroo because someone's hacked my Deliveroo account and he's ordering food to their house. They've not even ordered a lot of food, they've ordered £8 worth of food on my card with my account. I'm so damn confused what's happening right now but someone's got my bank details which is kind of scary. That was just really stressful, I weren't planning on coming home to my Deliveroo account getting hacked. I don't know how on earth they even found my Deliveroo account, like I don't get it. Um, so everyone, someone on Fucking you back on my delivery account and I'm gonna poo <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> so, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a poo and put it in a bag and put it in that door and I'm gonna get, get a moldy kebab and I'm gonna go woo <laughs> Right so basically what I was saying to Flossie is Flossie's here by the way if you didn't already guess Obviously they've ordered the kebab to their address and put their phone number in so on, I now have their address, the person that hacked me so thanks a lot and thanks a lot Rachel um, and I also have their phone number so I said to Flossie, do you know what I might do? I might get a mouldy kebab, put it in a package and send them a mouldy fucking kebab that stinks and just send it to their, their house for hacking my account and trying to order kebabs. I've had to freeze my bank, I've had to change every password to every social media account ever just because now I'm scared someone's got access to like all my shit and um, I'm not really feeling getting hacked. I don't why anyone would hack anyone it's the most irritating and annoying thing in the entire world so I don't recommend doing it if you're a fucking hacker then you suck and I'm gonna send shit into your letterbox I might go to this person's address and throw stones at the windows I'm not actually gonna do that but it's scary because now they've got my address they've got my phone number they've got absolutely everything and I'm just sat here like now I've got to go to Bongo's Bingo basically everyone's already gone um in other news everyone's already gone to Bongo's Bingo obviously we we're meant to be going there tonight still I'm going we're waiting for Evie to get to our house so me and Flossie obviously I couldn't leave because my accounts were midway getting hacked and I was just on the phone to my bank and stuff so Josh, Freya, Anna and Haz have all got an Uber over to the Bongo's Bingo place and now I'm gonna get changed and try and enjoy my night and hope that I don't get hacked whilst it's happening because that would be a nightmare. Being in the middle of a club, enjoying bingo and getting everything hacked would not be ideal but we're gonna see what happens, fingers crossed. We ready to go? Yeah. Hmm? So cute. Mine? Yeah. Oh, so you look like a duvet. A duvet? So do you. Oh. <laughs> we are so late. This is in a different place. Ooh, I hate when people do that. Uh, this is in a different place to where I came last. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's there. It's there. But I, I came out of a different entrance last time. Stupid boy. Want it easy. Want it badly. But I can get what I want. Too much pressure. Too much pleasure. Not much to rely on Your love ain't free It's killing me I want it to end all oh. Cause I've been trying I've been waiting Waiting for so long I'm waiting, waiting, waiting It's hard to do 
But it 